ジャパニーズポット一ゼロ一です。おはよう東京。こんばんはニューヨーク。こんにちはロンドン。Lower Beginner Season One Lesson Twenty Two. Please keep the noise down in Japan. Hi everyone, Alicia des. Alicia here. Konnichiwa, Natsuko des. Hi everyone, I'm Natsuko. Welcome to Lower Beginner Season One, Lesson Twenty Two. Please keep the noise down in Japan. So, Natsuko, what are we going to learn in this lesson? In this lesson, we're going to learn how to say adverb plus onegai shimas. We'll also learn how to tell the time. So, where does this lesson's dialogue take place? Emily's neighbor, Mr. Hayashi, pays a visit to Emily's house to talk to Emily. Let's find out what's going on. では聞きましょう Let's listen to the conversation. どちら様ですか四マル二号室の林ですこんばんはこんばんはお久しぶりです楽しそうですねパーティーですかはいすみませんが静かにお願いしますもう十二時ですからすみません。Let's hear the conversation one time slowly. はい、どちら様ですか。四マル二号室の林です。こんばんは。こんばんは。お久しぶりです。楽しそうですね。パーティーですかはい。すみませんが、静かにお願いします。もう、十二時ですから。すみません。Now let's hear it with the English translation. はい、どちら様ですか ?Yes, who is it?402 号室の林です。こんばんは。It's Hayashi from apartment 402. Good evening. こんばんは、お久しぶりです。Good evening. Long time no see. 楽しそうですね。パーティーですか ?This looks like fun. Is it a party? はい。Yes. すみませんが、静かにお願いします。もう、十二時ですから。I'm sorry, but please keep it down. It's already twelve o'clock, you know. すみません。I'm sorry. Wow, seems like a great house party is going on at Emily's. It seems so. Her neighbor, Mr. Hayashi, was not very happy about the noise. Having a party in an apartment is always difficult because you can't make too much noise. And silent parties aren't that enjoyable, are they? That would be weird. We often gather and go to casual public places for drinking called izakaya. We don't really use the word party. So when we go to an izakaya with some friends, we call such parties nomikai. It literally means drinking gathering. That's interesting. Gathering for drinking. Not for socializing or chatting, but the main purpose for getting together is drinking. Sounds fun, right? <laughs> Many izakaya have special menus for nomikai, including all you can drink. They have a list of alcoholic drinks and soft drinks which you can choose from. Each one of you pays a flat rate and drinks as much as you like. Typically, this has a limit of two hours. That's a good idea. Listeners, Have you experienced an all you can drink system? Please share your experiences on the lesson page. Okay, 
let's move on to the vocab. Let's take a look at the vocabulary for this lesson. The first phrase we shall see is Dochira-sama desu ka? Who is it? Who's calling? Dochira-sama desu ka? Dochira-sama desu ka? Next is Gōshitsu Suffix for room numbers. Gōshitsu Gōshitsu Next is Tanoshii Fun, amusing. Ta no shi i. Ta no shi. Next is party. Party. Pa a ti i. Party. Next is sumimasen ga. Excuse me, but I'm sorry, but sumimasen ga. Sumimasen ga. Next is shizuka. Quiet. Shizuka. Shizuka. And last, mo. Already. Mo. U. Mo. Let's have a closer look at the usage for some of the words and phrases from this lesson. Natsuko, what's the first word? Mo. Meaning already. This can be used with an expression of time, like in the dialogue. Or with an action. In the dialogue, Mr. Hayashi asked Emily to keep the noise down because. Because it's already midnight. Natsuko, can you give us an example with an action verb? Sure. Imagine you are waiting for me to finish my work and ask, Have you finished yet? I'd say, Hai, mo oarimashita. Yes, I've already finished. As you might have noticed, when mo is used with an action verb, it's often expressed in the past tense. Okay, what's the next phrase? Sumimasen ga, meaning, excuse me, but. This phrase is very useful to avoid miscommunication in Japan. That's very true. Whenever you request something or ask someone a favor, adding this sumimasen ga at the beginning of the sentence is a very important way of expressing politeness. Instead of just saying sumimasen, the final ga in sumimasen ga softens the speech as it shows certain hesitancy. It will also allow others to accept requests happily. For example, if you were with a small child and someone started smoking, you would say sumimasen ga tabako wa chotto. Excuse me, but smoking is a bit. Here you can end the sentence with chotto and avoid a clear statement such as smoking disgusts me or your cigarette is toxic to this child. That's right. Sometimes we encounter situations where we hesitate to request something like this. But in such circumstances, using sumimasen ga shows your consideration to others. Let's practice this phrase. Imagine you're looking for a police box. Let's ask someone. Excuse me. But where is the police box? Repeat after Natsuko. Sumimasen ga, kouban wa doko desu ka? How did you go, listeners? Now, on to the grammar. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to ask a favor. First, let's take an example from the dialogue. In the dialogue, Mr. Hayashi said to Emily, Sumimasen ga, shizuka ni onegai shimasu. Excuse me, but please keep it down. The key point here is adverbial forms of adjectives. The na adjective, shizuka na, is used with its adverbial form, shizuka ni. Natsuko, how can we conjugate na adjectives? Drop the final na and replace it with ni. Dropping na from shizuka na and adding ni. Make shizuka ni. Shizuka ni. Add onegai shimasu and say shizuka ni onegai shimasu. The literal meaning is quietly please. How about e adjectives? Drop the final e and replace it with ku. For example, dropping e from hayai meaning fast and adding ku make 
haya ku, haya ku, and haya ku means quickly or fast. When we talk about e adjectives, there's always one exception. Listeners, do you remember which one? It's e, meaning good. Adverbial form of e is yoku. Now you can express how you want something to be done using this adverbial form plus onegaishimasu. There are some examples of adverbs and more adjectives in the lesson notes, so please check them out. Okay, now let's see another focus of this lesson how to tell time. In Japanese, you simply need to add G after numbers to tell time. There are two numbers you have to pay attention to, and those are 4 and 9. Let's see one by one, starting with ichiji. It means 1 o'clock. Niji, 2 o'clock. Sanji, 3 o'clock. Listeners, pay attention to the next one. Yoji, 4 o'clock. Goji, 5 o'clock. Lokuji, 6 o'clock. Shichiji, 7 o'clock. Hachiji, 8 o'clock. Again, please pay attention to the next one. Kuji, 9 o'clock. Juji, 10 o'clock. Juichiji, 11 o'clock. Juniji, 12 o'clock. Good. Now you can tell time. You know what? You can use all the expressions you learned in this lesson and say, Sumimasen ga, shizuka ni onegai shimasu. Mo, juji desu. Hayaku, nemashou. Excuse me, but please keep it down. It's already 10 o'clock. Let's go to bed immediately. <laughs> At 10 o'clock? I bet you can use this phrase with children. Okay, everyone, that's about all we have time for in this lesson. Listeners, have you ever dreamed of starring in one of our lessons? If your answer is yes, use the voice recording tool on the lessons page. Record your voice with the click of a button. And then play it back just as easily. Then, compare it to the native speakers in the lesson. And adjust your pronunciation. Go to JapanesePod101.com and rapidly improve your Japanese pronunciation. See you next time. Ja, mata! Hi! Dochira sama desu ka? 402号室 no Hayashi desu. Konbanwa. こんばんは。お久しぶりです。楽しそうですね。パーティーですかはい。すみませんが、静かにお願いします。もう12時ですから。すみません。<笑>